Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm. PyCharm is a tool that allows you to write Python programs. Until now, we have been using Idle to write simple Python programs, but once you are through your few days of learning, you should switch to a better tool that allows you to write Python program, debug it, uh, it does the syntax highlighting, and it has a bunch of other cool features that you will find very useful. So to install it, just go to google.com and type in download PyCharm. And the first link will be this. So just click on that and it will be jetbrains.com slash PyCharm slash download. So JetBrains is the company that makes this PyCharm tool. Uh, now it has two versions, professional and community. This is a paid version. Uh, the community version, this one is a free version. We will install free version because it is sufficient for our needs. So just click on download and it will begin downloading. In my case, it is Google Chrome. So the download thing is happening here. If you have Internet Explorer or Firefox as a browser, then there will be a different location, but you should be able to figure it out where it is downloading. Okay. And once the download, so we'll wait until the download is complete. So I skipped the part of the whole download, downloading process. So eventually it will get completed. And once it is complete, you can just click on the executable and it will begin downloading. So what you just downloaded was a setup file to install PyCharm and now you are running that setup file to install the software on your local machine. So just say yes, next, next. You can say, you should just click these two so it will create a desktop and all the .py which is a python program file will be open in pycharm by default install okay so the installation is complete you can click on this and finish and it will just start your pycharm you can say I do not have a previous version of PyCharm. Just okay, hit okay. Okay, if you if you want to start it from your Windows desktop, then you can start it by double clicking this icon. So just hit okay and say create a new project. So all my projects now you need to give a location about like where to have your projects. So I will just have my projects in uh, C code directory so I will just create a directory in my C folder and I'll just name it code okay so C code and the name of my project is hello Okay, so now the first thing we are going to do is we will increase the font size. Okay, so let's see where can I increase the font size. So go to settings and here type in font. So you see like in editor you see colors and fonts. So click on font. Now in order to increase the font size you as you you see like you you probably won't be able to edit this thing so just say save as and just say my settings and now you can increase the font size so i i really like like bigger fonts so i will just say 18 okay okay now it increases the font size of your editor but if you want to increase font size size of these other things then again go to settings and let's
let's see where we can increase the font size for that so just type in font font is here so you have to go to appearance and here you can again increase the font size so increase the font size at two places and as you see like it increases the font size of this ui okay so right click now on this one and create a python file so it will create your first python file and you can just say hello hello is the name of your python file so as you see the way it works is you created a project with a name hello within that project now you have python file called hello.py python files have .py extension here you can start writing your python program so we'll just write print hello world okay so this is my python program so you can you can have like as many lines as you want and in order to run it click on run run button and click on hello when you do that you see like here in this area it executed that and it printed hello world so py charm will be pretty useful uh, when you're writing big programs it has so many cool features that I highly recommend using this awesome IDE developed by JetBrains. Kudos to those people who came up with such a nice and awesome uh, tool. And it's free as well. The community edition is free. Okay, so that was all about how to install PyCharm for writing better Python programs. Thanks for watching.